Yo Grade Natural Yogurt from Sterling Products Limited, made from farm fresh cow's milk and ripe healthy fruit in flavors you like. Try them, they're delicious. Lime, tomato, celery, seasoning, lime, tomato, celery, seasoning. There we go. Bamba, lamba, le, bama, bambe, bamba, lamba, le, bama, bambe, bamba, lamba, le, bama, bambe, all the wine is starting right here. Bamba, lamba, le, bama. Hi, good afternoon. As you can see, I'm hanging out here in a beautiful hammock. It's a beautiful sunny day. Thunder rolling somewhere on the north side. We're here up in Vredenoop. And we're here hanging out at Auntie Day's house with my very good friend, Nisa. Where exactly are we? This is New Road, Green Hoop, on the west coast of Demerara. And Auntie Day. Yes, now, Auntie you're, Day. you're a master of everything I, yes. I learned recently, <laughs> right? Wherever you touch is just happen, right? <laughs> I thought Nisa put forward it. <laughs> right, good. So, um, you're probably sitting in your couch right now. It's all hard back and stuff, but we're just chilling in this hammock right now. We teeth Auntie Day's hammock, so... Um, we're gonna get up up here and we're gonna to learn to cook some very interesting things today, right? Yep. Some now, real Indian style, country style, fireside style. Fireside food. style, exactly. So the reason why we're starting out in this episode right now is because it's very nostalgic. You remember back in the days you're under a bottom house, chilling out, winds blowing, it's still hot, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna to learn to make we're gonna to learn to take, make what we're gonna what is We're it? gonna make choca. bacon choka, coconut choka, dal, potato roti, sado roti, and we have we have uh, achar, achar. achar. So wash your hands before you handle the food. That's why I have to do that next. Um, so shall we get going? Yeah, why not? Let's start. Perfect. And we'll, as we are going to uh, learn to make the um, make the products, we'll get to know the persons, Nisa and. Auntie Day. I call you Auntie Day, is that okay? Yes, yes, yes. All right, good. Auntie Day, and we'll get to know each other. What is that, Thunder? Yeah. Okay, you can get some, you can get some too, don't worry, you can get some too. <laughs> All right, so the, the, the gods are getting kind of angry because we're just talking about food right now, we're not feeding them. So let's get going, and we'll open our next shot there. So here we are in the outside kitchen. Very nostalgic, very Guyanese, very Indocentric, I think you could call it. Mm -hmm. Now today's menu, is gonna be like uh, like you said before, baigan choka, coconut choka, dal, dal potato roti, potato roti, sada, sada roti, yeah. and what else? Well, we have tamarind achar. Uh, tamarin yeah. achar. Yeah. yeah, and just it it just the smell alone already from the burning wood. As you can see, the old fire the um the fireside fire fire side. we have going on in back here. Can you get that? You have that. You have a picture of that. Look at that. When last have you seen that? Like really, I need to get me one of these. Best way of cooking. Best, absolutely. Yeah. Just the smell alone, just just yeah. the whole surrounding, the, the aromatherapy you get yeah. from it. Just amazing. Now, one thing I have to do is, because um, I always get duped when I go in the market. How can you tell which is the best balanje to make your choco with? But some people say it's the sound, some people say it's the weight, some people say it's the color. Not bargain. By the feel. The feel. Yeah. Yes. It mustn't feel hard. It, you must get a hollow sound. So you know that when you stick that garlic in there, it's going to come out all fluffy and uh, nice. Fluffy? Yeah. yeah fluffy. fluffy balanje. Fluffy balanje. <laughs> Choka. Choka must be fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then for coconuts now. Um, Any dry coconut will do. So we've just uh, broken one and we're going to put it over the open flame now. The roast, there's coconut being roasted on the open fire. So how long do you roast the coconut for? Uh, about five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Okay. So you're getting the coconut, you dig the coconut After out of the shell. After it's roasted, yeah. yeah, you just take it out of the shell, mm -hmm. and then you wash it in a little water, and you scrape off some of the black, um, the burnt the bits. The uh, Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, and but this then, is this is cold to the touch right now, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So how long you had it out of the, the fire now? For a few minutes until it's cooled down. Okay. Yeah. So you don't butt up your hands. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is the first process in making the whole, That's the coconut right. choker is the first yeah. thing. Yeah. Good. So keynote there, yeah. roast the coconut and get that out of the way. All right. Yeah. Then the next step after that is done, you wash it and then she's going to grate it on that handheld grater. 
So when you grate this and you, you, you don't squeeze this anything This makes it out. easier to grind on right, the metal yeah, brick because otherwise it would be um, it hard on the arm. Okay. It's a lot of work in hog, but it's definitely worth everything. So that's why it's so expensive when you're buying coconut choker. So well, who buys coconut choker? Now you know how to make it yourself. So now I can come to your house and you'll always have Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> onto the masala brick, right? Grinding everything up. How old is this masala brick? 20 years. 20 years? Baigan choker and the first thing we do is make some deep slits into balanje um, and in those slits we're going to be putting uh, whole cloves of garlic like four cloves to one balanje yeah. make sure it goes all the way in and then that goes onto the fire the open flame again we roast it Now you um, now this is on the open fire and I'll use this special um, gadget here called the chimta. This is uh, something that's made especially to for fireside use so you don't burn your hands. So you just turn it around with this. So all the sides get evenly roasted. So this balanje has just uh, been taken off the open fire. She's going to cut it open now. And that smells see amazing. See all that goodness in there. The, the, the garlic that she stuck in there has already taken on some smoky flavor. Yep, it's smoking. It's so, soft already. You can see yeah. it's, it's almost half cooked. So, Alan, there is where you get that fluffy texture, you I see? I see. So, now she's going to take a spoon. So, when somebody call you a fluffy balanje from now on, out. it's a good thing. Right? Yeah, take two spoons. That smells amazing. Yeah. So now, now, can you make this with any kind of a balanje, or does that have to be the, the brown, the purple ones? No, you like, can use any type as long as it's um, there's enough flesh in it. You're not gonna take a long skinny sound. one. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. And for those of you who don't have a fireside, yes, you can still make this on a gas stove, on the open flame. Some people even put it in the oven, but then you don't get any smokiness at all to that. So I would suggest an open flame. Like a barbecue, for example, too, right? Yeah. Throw it on a barbecue. Any open flame. 
just get all the black bits out and then we're going to uh, use a fork. We're going to add a little bit of oil, some salt, pepper, chopped real, real pepper. So she's mashed the garlic up and the balanje and now we put some chopped onions, some chopped weary pepper, some green onions or shallots as we call it, um, some salt to taste and you can use any kind of oil? Uh, vegetable oil. Any kind of vegetable oil. A little more? Yes. No. A little bit of oil, like two tablespoons oil. Two tablespoons of oil, yeah. okay. Now, what and would the, the difference of, like, if you had to add coconut oil in there, how would, you, would that drastically change the taste? No, if it's fresh, fresh coconut, coconut oil, it tastes taste taste. lovely. Yeah. Okay. Just you don't want any rancid taste. So you right. Any yeah. Just, uh, the colors just come out now and it yeah. just, it just livens and there everything. There you have it. Balanje choker, bison choker. So one that no, two down. Yeah. Now we're gonna go and make the uh, alu roti. Alu roti. Yeah. You know that was my nickname, right? Alu. <laughs> so we did a pre. Uh, this is a pre prep right now. We boil these potatoes. You boil them in salt or just regular water? A little salt. bit of salt. A little bit of salt mm -hmm. to stuff the potatoes inside of the roti, right? Yeah. So can you now? Can you do this without peeling them, or you have to you have to peel them? If you peel them, because you don't want brown bits in your. Uh... But that's where all the minerals are in the skin. No, no, but if you boil it with the skin, when you go to peel, just the bare skin is coming off, not any bit of the uh, actual potato. Let's pour that. I can eat that. So that will get seasoned mm -hmm. with uh, onion, mm -hmm. garlic, pepper, um, a little bit of jeera, and some salt. And the then we're gonna powder or the jeera the, or the, um, the, powder. Rot, the powder, the jeera? The powder, the, yeah, that you, you, roast it you roast it and grind it and then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of that and uh, once all of that is all blended together really well, then we're going to stuff it into our, um, into our dough here that's already been prepared. And I like this map by the way, it's very old fashioned. Now, how long you had this dough sitting here? About a half hour. Half hour? Yeah. And you, how do you make the dough? Do you it's make just it? with uh, flour, a pinch of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and water. No. Make a, a Guyanese salt. pinch or North American pinch? A pinch is a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> a little pinch. <laughs> so I suppose that's Guyanese. You know, some people say a pinch and go big, big hand <laughs> in right like that and just take the whole thing. So these are okay like this, right? Yeah. You want all of these peeled? Now, how did you get into cooking this? Um. I grew up watching my mom cook and I always enjoyed it and I couldn't wait for the time when I would be old enough to be left alone in the kitchen. And, then and you turned that into your passion. happened when I was about 11. Um, then I was given um, little tasks to do. I remember my first ever um, dish that I made all by myself was uh, shepherd's pie. But that's not Guyanese. Yeah, but it was what I learned. Um, I wanted to do something different. Right, see? I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. So, and how did you get about? You, you know, you have your own infamous cafe, which I must say, I live for that Thank tomato you. choker. Oh my gosh! Not tomato choker, you're a dip. Well, we're not going to reveal like, that. It's, it's, we're not going to reveal that that secret because yeah. that, I believe, is the, the trademark for you. But um, one day you have to go to, to Oasis. You have a five star. I call it the only five star um, fire roasted tomato dip. 
Hello. Hello, you really interrupted my, my, my flow here. You see? <laughs> it's uh it's your it's your, your your master is that your creation by the way? Um I don't think I think it's the same um, ingredients that people use to make um, tomato choka, but it's just that I um have lived on it a bit. Yeah. Okay. You know. Okay, this is good. I think that's your trademark though. The first time I had that, it was amazing. Now you put everything inside of a, you could either have a masher or you have one of these, um, what do you this call it? This is a really old fashioned, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a Yogurate Natural Yogurt from Sterling Products Limited, made from farm fresh cow's milk and ripe healthy fruit in flavors you like. Try them, they're delicious. been your most favorite or your, your most momentous or is that the right word momentous memorabilia or your most what I like to cook most yeah I like to experiment with uh, all types of cuisine from around the world I would say what's uh, your most favorite dish you like to cook um or are we cooking it right now <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> I know the coconut yeah. choker is mine, hands yeah. down, hands <laughs> down. Like whoever yeah. came up with that should win, a, win an Oscar or, or not Oscar, a Nobel Prize. I, I learned to do that from my grandma. I think it's definitely a trade you have to, to, to learn and pick yeah. up. It's, it's something that you have to love. Yeah, to do. absolutely. Yeah. Food is an art, it really is an yeah. art. And I would like you to... Um, so take this off. Come on, chop these and keep it here. Good. And then you can grind some. Um, so you mix this up. Yeah, and then we're gonna add to that the onion. You don't mash anything up in here, right? Just put it in. Just some salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, we we're talking about you now here again. What made you get into food, is it opening our, well, we'll start off with a cafe, or did you want to open a cafe originally, or a, a restaurant? Well, I just wanted a little, small um, pastry shop, and a coffee shop, basically. Yeah. And it has um, evolved into what it is, just by, I guess... Um, the go-to place. Yeah, I call it the go-to place. You know, every time a customer makes a suggestion, I try to meet that. You know, if they ask for something special, I would try my hardest to get the ingredients and make it. So, what's one of the one one of the most difficult things, or not the challenging things you've ever had to make? Um, teaching myself how to make sushi, sourcing the ingredients, learning how to roll. You know, all on my own. You got local fish here for sushi. Well, I don't use any anything raw. Okay. I just use smoked fish or steamed like shrimp. Salmon. Yeah, right. smoked salmon. Yeah, avocado. Hmm, maybe that invitation for me got lost somewhere. And it just, yeah, it probably did. Yeah, I have to call GPO and yeah, find out about that know, invitation. These yeah. things happen. <laughs> <laughs> did you consult it? No, I added nothing to it. 
you mash the potatoes, you add some salt. Yeah. Okay. And, and here, this is a mixture of onion, garlic, and uh, the wiru pepper, mm -hmm. which we're going to flavor the potatoes with. And then give a good mix. Ready to go into our dough to make the the roti. The potato roti. Okay. Our alu uh, it's alu, alu, par alu parata. Alu parata. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you make it into like a palm sized shape. Yeah. And about a tip. You just flatten the dough, mm -hmm. and then you uh, put your mashed potato in there. Mm -hmm. Fold it, over. fold it over. So this is the same process of making dal puri, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. You close it up and then you leave it to sit for another few minutes, so like another 10, 15 minutes. So it kind of seals. Right. Everything seals up. Yeah. There so you go. And then you, uh, you continue doing the rest. Mm. Put a little oil there. Why do you put the oil in? I guess it's to help this to stay in better. I don't know. I just have seen the old folks do it. Auntie they? The soft thing they, they, they do. Oh, okay. Close yeah. mm. it up. It from get stiff. Okay. He's rolling out the, um, the dough that's stuffed with the potato. There's an art to this, of course. So now, there you go. You're oiling the towel. So, Auntie Day, where you learn to cook? At my mother's home. Mm -hmm. My father learned to cook. Your father learned to yes. cook. You know what they say? Most, 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 a lot of Indian men know how to cook better than women. So, once it swells, you know it's ready to flip. Yeah. No, I was wondering, can you make this with edo? Yes. Edo, potato, what else? Yeah. Cassava? Yeah. Yeah. Not cassava. Hello, yeah. subscribe. So, same yeah. principle, you have to boil it and just let it. So 
now we're bailing or yeah bailing right so we're bailing the sada roti how did the word sada don't come around too, um, like being like when you're making something without any addition thing like a sada food like sada so means pure kind of thing so um, so to make the sada roti what did you what did you use to make it just flour and water flour and, and water little baking powder a little baking powder flour yes. water uh, any butter or no, no butter, sir. No butter. Just plain. Yes. No butter. No, 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 no. I'm gonna try this. If mine doesn't come out like this, I'm coming and pelt pelt your window with my salad. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but if you don't have baking soda, you can use baking soda instead of baking powder. Baking soda, baking powder, but with baking soda, soda you put the rest. Okay. Then the baking. okay. Now what's the when if um. No, could you add butter to this if you want? Um, or ghee? Ghee? Yes, you can add it. Heating up back the dal now. This is sound ga dal got me. And oh, what's it called again? Gote. We never wash your slippers. You're careful. So you hold it. Yes. And you go like this. Put it in the basket here. To crush the peas and give the dal a nice and the and flavor with the, gar with the garlic, pepper, and the jeera. And the jeera. And the jeera. We got it out. Yeah, yeah. And bring the sliced garlic. I wait for the day when television has a scent. Yeah. When smell of vision. You know, the smell, smell of vision. vision. Yeah, because it's yeah. just, you know, apart from the eyes burning, but, um, it's. How long do I do this for? Few minutes <laughs> until we uh, chunk it off. This process is called oh chunking the dal. Really hot so we put some a little bit of oil yeah. in the dabu. I'll find the this ladle is called the dabu. Really and then you put some garlic, some fresh sliced garlic. Until the, uh, you do it until, until it starts to sizzle, and then you'll put this into the. Um, I think we need a little more fire here. And that happens very fast. Now I can't tell you the flavor and the scent that's coming. I mean, the aroma is just amazing. So from the coconut, which is fuel, to, oh, there we go, piece of coconut, to this, to this, to that, to this. Oh, we don't have any bygones to show you. Balanje, eggplant, aubergine, you name it. Um, the ladies want to clean up their hands and so forth just to look pretty for the camera. While they're cleaning up, I'm going to have a little sample. As you can see, this is your presentation. This is your final plate. Now. In the beginning of the show, I said nostalgic. This is as nostalgic as nostalgic you can get with the fireside behind me burning the living crap out of my back, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to enjoy a bit before they get here just to make sure the official taste testing is done right. Uh, until then, I'll see you in two seconds. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Nothing can touch this. Keep them occupied. Let them stay there for a while. Just, just stop the water from running. Well, that brings us to the end of this show. Ladies, Auntie Dave, Nisa, thank you so much for teaching me. Pleasure. Us, how to work on a fireside, and how to make coconut choka, balanje choka, dal, potato roti, adder roti. We're gonna have to have an episode one day of, of the tam. I can't tell you how this tamarind 
did you bring a container for yourself? Because this is going home with me, right? I'll consider sharing. Okay, right, so consider sharing. But Auntie Day says, it says Very I can take good, it. guys. Yes. I, um, <laughs> I suggest all of you get a fireside. Yes, an outdoor so kitchen. So you can enjoy this delicious meal. Yeah. Fireside food. The, 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 not the burning, but the, the, the smoke. The wood, the wood flavored, yeah. you know, this is where it comes from. Anyhow, enjoy because I, I, my mind is on food right now. See you guys next time. Thank you. Lime, tomato, celery, season, lime, tomato, celery, season. Now we go. Bamba, lamba, le, bam, bam, be, bamba, lamba, le, bam, bam, be, bamba, lamba, le, bam, bam, be, all the wine is starting, right? Bamba, lamba, le, bam, bam, be, bamba, lamba, le, bam, bam, be, bamba, lamba, le, bam. All the wine then started right there Me a call for the doctor, doctor She a run and a come, she a cover rock So she feel like say me got a bring your fever Home a feel all right, say a bit Yogurt Natural Yogurt from Sterling Products Limited, made from farm fresh cow's milk and ripe healthy fruit in flavors you like. Try them, they're delicious.